good morning YouTube or possibly good afternoon when you actually see this uh, I am running a quick errand this morning and then I am headed to FedEx that's right our Eastern Indigos shipped yesterday they are here <clears throat> uh, they're at the facility for pickup there they haven't been listed uh, as available for pickup yet so um, I'm gonna run one quick errand and then it is time to get these dream snakes um, yeah I've been interested in these guys for years I've been talking about them on the vlog constantly even though I don't have them yet <clears throat> I'm excited to talk about the breeder that we've been working with uh, it's been one of the best interactions we have had with a breeder period and we've never really been unhappy with any breeder we've ever worked with so um, it is high praise this guy has just been above and beyond so I'm excited to talk about all this I'm excited to finally see them and hold them and show them on camera uh, I, I could not be more excited I'm also nervous I'm always nervous when we get snakes in um, it's fall weather here so the temperatures are a little bit cooler than I'd like I think our highs today are gonna be low 60s so it's not cold cold but it's uh, cooler than I would like certainly but uh, yeah the shipper <coughs> is in Arizona so we've been waiting and waiting and waiting for months <laughs> to be able to ship because it's just been too hot there um, even with a cold pack it was you know 105 degrees where he was at and you just you can't ship in that you'd roast your snakes <coughs> so we've been waiting as patiently as we could to be able to ship these guys. <clears throat> I was getting nervous because it was getting late enough in the year that uh, we were just gonna get really cold here soon. Uh, probably another three or four weeks and it's gonna be bitter cold here in Alaska. So I was really happy to find this shipping window where it was cool enough there in Arizona. They finally got some rain, uh, but still warm enough here in Alaska. We had the same issue back in the spring when we got our uh, blue tree monitor in <clears throat> shipper was in Southern California and it was still cool here now what he ended up doing <laughs> was pretty tricky he used a shorter duration cold pack and then a long duration heat pack so that while the monitor was still in California and it was cold or and it was hot uh, he was able to keep it a little cooler the cool pack then ran out before it got to Alaska and the heat pack kept it warm so it was that was quite the shipment uh, I was impressed honestly that he did so well but it went smooth it went great the monitor got here perfect and I expect the uh, Eastern Indigos to do just as well they're a lot more cold tolerant than any monitor of course um, uh, I mean in the wild these the Indigos are in Florida and uh, it is believed that the males at least don't even always seek shelter during during cold events in Florida and of course cold events in Florida are nothing like you know cold events in much of the country but still they can get they can get some colder temperatures so these snakes should be absolutely perfect and fine and, and uh, no issues at all are expected otherwise we wouldn't have shipped obviously so I'm just excited and I will uh, pop open the camera uh, as we get closer but uh, yeah just wanted to vlog this whole thing because man I have been waiting for this for years it's it's been quite the process uh, yeah so just wait till you see him hey, let's go get him I've got him I'm gonna run home and we'll open them up. All right, here we go. So I'm just gonna reach in there and pull her out. I hope she's okay with that. 
She is pretty cold, as we knew she would be. But here <gasps> she oh is. Oh my goodness. Look at this, guys. Oh my gosh. This is incredible. Definitely a yearling female. Oh. Look at her. Just oh look at her. Oh my goodness. She's beautiful. Oh man. Wow. Check her out, guys. Oh. So our first colubrid. Oh my she goodness. looks flawless. Look at her. Wow. Nice colors. Red seems to progress down the belly oh a little ways. Just look at her guys, isn't she so cute? Wow. And these guys are movers. It's not like holding the ball python. Well, these guys will cruise on you. Oh. Look at her. Wow. So here's the female, guys. We're going to need a name for her and the male, of course. So go ahead and comment. Let us know what you think. Look at this snake. Oh, and these guys will be eating everything. <laughs> uh, all the different types of rodents we do. Uh, eventually, when they're big enough, maybe tiny tiny baby rabbits but I'm not sure um, we're gonna start doing quail they will eat uh, I mean they'll eat snakes if you let them they love snake um, which you know some people if you have like a stillborn snake for example it's a great thing to feed to your indigos um, they'll eat uh, fish so we have saved a bunch of salmon bellies when we were fishing this summer so these guys can get little chunks of fish Look at her. Oh, hi, beautiful. Yeah, is that better now Ooh. that you're a little warming up? All right, let's get her put in the bin, and I'll pull out the mail. All right, so I'm going to pull out the mail. Again, uh, I, cannot, I cannot emphasize enough how fantastic it's been to work with the breeder. Uh, his name's Victor Herrick. <clears throat> I've brought it up before. He's just been absolutely on top of every question we've had it's been incredibly helpful we've called him we've emailed him we have just <laughs> talked his ear off and uh, he knows his stuff let me tell you what he's been keeping these guys for decades um, <clears throat> looks like he just wants to come out come on babe. come on out but uh, Also pretty cold. That's okay. We knew it was going to happen. We couldn't use a heat pack, guys, because um, he was shipping to <coughs> Arizona. We had to wait weeks and weeks and weeks just to be able to ship at all because it was so hot there. Here's the male. I think he's even more red. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Look at this guy. Oh. <laughs> wow. Look at this snake. Oh. Oh, Hi guys. he's gorgeous. Wow. Yep, so these are both yearlings, <clears throat> which is just fine. Um, he, he did warn me that he, had, he was planning to uh, switch females if the hatchling female that he had picked out for us um, just wasn't eating as strongly as he wanted her to be. So uh, we've got a yearling pair. Again, they're as unrelated as, as you can get with Eastern Indigos. Um, the captive population is not huge, um, and it's not very diverse, unfortunately. Uh, there's, no, there's none coming in from the wild because they're, they're threatened, so there shouldn't be any coming in from the wild, but it does make it difficult to keep them unrelated in captivity when you have a truly closed population. But uh, uh, Victor Herrick and most of the other really good breeders of these guys have their, their pairs genetically tested to make sure that they're as compatible as possible. <coughs> um, but I am, I am thrilled. I could not imagine a more gorgeous snake. 
Um, look at this guy. They're curious. They're running all around, looking at stuff. Look at the throat, guys. Look at that. And Victor Herrick is known for his red throat indigos. They're not all, they don't all have that. Some are jet black all the way up to the chin, but uh, he likes the red throats, and I like the red throats. That's one of the reasons we first started looking at him, because uh, we, we wanted red throats. Look at this snake. I am blown away. I'm absolutely blown away. It's okay. It's okay. So we'll get to know these guys better. But, uh, yeah. So please, 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 anyone out there who ever wants to get an Eastern Indigo Snake um, and you're willing to go through the permit process, it takes a couple months. Um, it wasn't super difficult. It just is time consuming. It's like 100 bucks for the permit. Please look up Victor Herrick. I will put uh, his email address in the description. He um, is just the best. So, yeah, this is the boy. He's a, maybe a touch smaller than the girl, but uh, they're both yearlings, and uh, they need names. Oh, I, I wish that I could just hold him all day, <laughs> but they need, they need to warm up. We're going to get them in their temporary homes. Um, the, the girl, we actually need to put in some bigger hides. We thought we were doing the hatchling at first, so all the hides we bought are, are small. Um, so we'll need to get slightly bigger hides in there, but, uh, yeah, they've, they, uh, look perfect. Absolutely flawless. Um, because of inbreeding issues, people that aren't careful with their breedings end up getting some defects in theirs, but these are, these are perfect. These are absolutely perfect. These guys get big, um, seven foot plus. Um, and for a colubrid, pretty girthy. Of course, not like the pythons and boas, but for a colubrid, they get pretty big around. So they'll be they'll be uh, a big boy and girl for sure. Um, and I was just looking over the feed card; they're eating like crazy. Um, these guys need a lot of small meals. Basically, their their jaws are not like typical snake jaws. They do not gape open like you picture most snakes. Um, so they have to eat much, much smaller meals than you would think for a snake of their size. And very frequently. They're very active, uh, high metabolism snake. So they got to eat a lot. A um, couple times a week at least. And they'll eat, again, anything. Uh, and we will be showing them off a lot, I'm sure. But we're going to probably give them two or three days to settle in. Maybe even four before we start feeding them. And... Uh, Hopefully they take off for us and, and are eating right away, but uh, they look incredible. Absolutely incredible. And I think the male is even more red than the female was as far as the throat goes. I'm so happy with their temperament too. I mean, they're known as, as a snake that really doesn't bite. People pick them up in the wild and generally don't get bitten. <coughs> but still, I mean, they just shipped all night. Uh, they're a little cold, which honestly with reptiles, you know, calms them down usually. <laughs> But new smells, new sights, and they just look curious and active and fantastic. I'm looking over their whole bodies, guys. I don't see any scale problems. Nothing. They look perfect. So we'll get this little boy put away. I'm sure Liz is going to want to hold him here, so she'll put down the camera for a bit. And uh, we will give you updates as we have them. But welcome to our newest additions. Could not be happier. Let us know what you think down in the comments. This is the culmination of years of effort for us. Uh, we, we got into these guys when I was in college, and I did a uh, semester-long project for a conservation class. Um, and our species of focus was the Eastern Indigo, and ever since then I've just been dying to get some, and I could not be happier with this. So, uh, yeah. Let us know what you think, and until next time, we are the Reptile Barn.